Hi everybody, it's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. Thank you so much for coming to my video today. Some of this video is going to be a haul showing some jewelry that I got this morning at a thrift store. And then we're going to take a look at a lot that I bought at an auction. I paid $100 for it. Hmm. Yeah, that might have been a mistake. I, I'd be interested to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel. Give me the thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorites are. Okay, and we'll get started right now. Well, this necklace doesn't suck now, does it? This is a really good piece of jewelry. It's not hard to tell that it is designer. This is a Heidi Douse item. I think this has been discontinued. And I think that's real carnelian, real amethyst. It's a beautiful thing. Check out all those rhinestones too. Let's see the signature. There it is, see it, Heidi Douse. It is upside down. And let's just take a look at that beautiful detailing. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Five strands. And I love when necklaces are like this, like this part isn't in the center. It, it is worn like this on the side. That's a beautiful thing. I think this was sold on HSN. I think that because it came in the HSN box, which I recognize because I've had so much HSN stuff and sold so much of it. This is really an A-lister, isn't it? Truly so. I'm hoping to get 150 out of this on my eBay page. This is really special. Really special. Look at all these beautiful colors. Isn't this nice? I love this. It is marked sterling silver. It's likely just the that clasp that is silver. Maybe not. Maybe it's also this chain part. How pretty is this? I actually left the thrift store wearing this. Isn't that pretty? I love it. That's a great piece. I love the shapes and then there's this rectangle. Really an interesting necklace, I think. I love that. I picked up this jungle print necklace. It appears to be bow, bone, but it is likely faux. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's real bone. Barrel clasp. That's kind of a neat piece, I think. I really like this. I guess those are leopard made to look like a, a leopard, right? That's different. This necklace is not signed, but I think it's so pretty. Look at all those colors. Nicely made. These are plastic, which is good because it's not a very heavy necklace. Isn't that pretty? I love the pastel colors on this one. Oh, you are beautiful, aren't you? Do you like that one? I really do. I bought these fun earrings just to wear because they're very, very long. I think the rhinestones are a nice touch. I'm going to have fun wearing these. They just about hit my shoulder. Are these called shoulder duster earrings or something when they do that? Pretty. Love them. Isn't this a pretty necklace? I love this. Look at the shells. Now, it had $18 on it. I paid a little bit less for it than that. And I didn't actually see that it was marked sterling, but I'm, I'm thinking it should be for that price. I don't think they would just ask that price. Seems like a lot for for not real silver, but maybe it isn't. I love it, though. I love that these shells all are two-sided, so you could wear them either way. 
See, they look very different on each side too. Look at that. Look what Mother Nature does. That's beautiful. What a great summer necklace this is. I want to show you that this is the box that that necklace came in, the, the Heidi Douse. And that's how I knew it was HSN. To my surprise, there is this in here, which is a cool thing to have. But the best thing is, let me just fold this down. This is a wonderful thing to have. This is from 2010. It's called Floral Chic. And as you can see, it was $400. That is pretty cool. Wow. Maybe I'll even be able to get more for it. I don't know. That's awesome to have this price with it. I got these a while back. I can't remember if I ever showed them to you. So I just wanted to share them with you again. I have two pairs of earrings and a necklace. These are the cutest thing ever. Look at these earrings. My camera's not really doing this justice. These are really, really cute little alligators. No mark that I saw, but those are fun. And these are very nice old things. Look at these nice earrings. They're clip and they're Kramers. I love Kramer jewelry. Very nicely made. And here is an old necklace that is very interesting. These beads are glass. It's a really cool piece. I'm going to put this on the neck so we can have a better look at it. I really like this necklace. I didn't pay a lot for it either. These are clearly hand blown. They're very irregular. But I love these. They're 3D. I love the pattern. That's a great necklace. I had to double it up because it's so long and there is no finding. Love that. I found this yesterday in a thrift store. This is a child's bracelet. It's very small. It is sterling. And I paid $10 for this. Isn't that a sweet thing? My hands are getting in the way. It's kind of hard to show because it's, it's so very little. Cute little Thunderbird with a little turquoise. This was a yard sale find. Sometimes these sell for a little something. I don't know if this one does or doesn't. But I bought it. It wasn't a lot of money. And I also bought this thing. Isn't that nicely carved? And this is ivory. It's got plenty of age on it. That's an old, an old thing. It's interesting, I think, the detailing at it and stuff. Of course, I can't sell this on eBay because they don't allow ivory to be sold. And I wonder if this was made to hold incense or something. Just just wondering. Probably not. I don't know. Something's supposed to be in his hand. Not sure. This is what I paid $100 for. I don't know. I, I, I messed up, I think. I thought some of these things in here weren't were in better condition than they are. Some of them are broken and... Then I, I got it home and I took a closer look and I thought, uh, I don't know, maybe not. Well, you guys let me know what you think. Let's have a look. This was in the bag. I just took it out because I didn't want it to break. This is glass. Isn't that pretty? I guess that's a perfume stopper. I think this may be old. I wish I knew what, what the bottle looked like. It's actually in nice condition too. She's got a big old bubble right there in her arm. Look at her hands. That's very 
cool. I don't know if it's, if I could get any money for it. I really like it though. This cuff is very nice. It looks like it might have said something. I can't make it out, that's for sure. Mm, I don't know. I know that, well, I don't know, but I would guess if this was silver, somebody would have known it, so I'm not thinking that. This is nice, though. That is faience, and those are scarabs. It's pretty. I think it's really pretty. I like the, the petals, like the flowers. Now, this is kind of interesting. A little red, white, and blue brooch. Looks like this might have been hand done. That's what it looks like to me. And there are several items like this. What is this? <laughs> Anybody know what that is? I don't know. Is that something that they used when they were making it and then they were going to cut it off or something? I can't. Uh, is it a, or maybe it's a napkin ring. It's got a little issue right there. It's a nice little bell though. There are a few pretty rings. I think these two are my favorites. I love this one. And I think this one is marked, let me see what it says. This one says 18K HJE, which stands for heavy gold electroplate. It's just a pretty item. It needs to be cleaned a little bit, but it's in nice condition. I think that's a sweet ring. And I like this ring very much also. There's our Hubble glass. It does say West Germany. Let me see if I can get that. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? This one looks really nice on. I like the shape of this. I think it's very flattering. And here's another one of these. That's a very cool piece. Just need to put a chain on there, one on each side. That's very beautiful. Hey, it's kind of, hmm, that's not correct. It's not, <laughs> hmm, that's odd. Well, that's pretty. And this, this is interesting. Georgia Peach, Stone Mountain GA. I looked this up on eBay. Maybe it sells, I, I can't remember now what it sells for. It does sell for a little something, not not too much, but that might be okay. Cause I just, I want to see if I can get my hundred back somehow. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. And here's another one of these. The stones are in nice condition. This is an interesting old pin, isn't it? Or brooch, I should say. When they're bigger, I usually refer to them as brooches. Some of the littler ones, I call them pins. Most people do use those interchangeably, but I think the, the bigger ones are supposed to be called brooches. Well, that's different. All the stuff is behind, so you can't really see it, but. That's a neat piece, I think. And this is pretty cool, but it is broken. So this is not silver. It is alpaca. I can tell by the color that it is alpaca, but it also happens to say it right there. You see it on the bottom? It's kind of hard to see, isn't it? And is it backwards too, to even make it harder for us? Yeah, no, it isn't there. It says, see, made in Mexico, alpaca, but it's missing its thing. There should be a little loop here with the other half of this chain. So this is a broken piece. That's a shame. This is a sweet thing. Look at that, that somebody tatted, I guess. Is this tat or crocheted? Isn't that cute? 
Somebody spent a long time doing that. That's very sweet. I wish I knew who did that. Here's another piece of alpaca. This is very colorful. And it does say alpaca there. See it? Alpaca, it's kind of hard to see. That's nice, a pendant or a pen. Beautiful, vibrant blue color. Here's a strand of Honora pearls, sterling silver findings. I have sold this name brand many, many times in the past. So I do recognize that finding and it has the H. And this is very pretty. The colors on this are very soft. This is also sterling. And I think, well, probably just the lobster claw clasp is sterling. I don't think all this wire wrap stuff is. Too close, right? Isn't that pretty? I like that. I like both of those. Let's see what else. Lake Placid, Northeast Conference. Sometimes these little things sell for something. I don't know if that one does. Here's a little, I don't know, little, little something. This is some sort of a military pin. I'm not sure how old it is or what that is, but maybe that's a certain regiment or something. This, what is this? What is inside there? I kind of want to... I kind of want to look in there. You think there's anything in there? I'll say this to the end. Maybe I'll try opening it and we'll, we'll have a look. Yeah, see what I mean? A hundred. Oh boy. That's a really fun thing for your tie, but not in great condition. And here's just a piece. I didn't realize those were broken. That's kind of why I wanted to buy the lot because of all of the, the patriotic stuff. But most of them don't have backs. This one does. So it's made out of these kind of red, white, and blue strips. And then somebody just welded them together or soldered them together. I should say. This one's nice, and this one's nice too. Not such a great soldering job there, but. <laughs> Those are cute. And here's a costume necklace. This looks very real. It's not though, pretty. And here is an awesome flag ring. I think that's very cute. I like that. And yeah, just some stuff. Some stuff that I'm not gonna be able to sell for anything. This is, is interesting. I guess that's glass, but it was an elephant. I mean, it still is, his trunk broke off, that's all. Missing all of his paint, too. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? I think there's some mismatch earrings. Uh, all right, well, you can't win them all, you know. This is strange. This is a necklace, I guess, but then, I don't know. Maybe it's a, I suppose it's a, a fob. I don't know what is going on here. Not sure about that. Doesn't look like it has any age on it. And that's kind of a pretty pin. Not sterling. This is an interesting stick pin because of that end cap. If it even originally came on there, who knows? I didn't see a mark. And there's another stick pin. This one's old. This one's really cute. Not real, that's for sure. Whoa. Those rhinestones need to be um, 
kind of brushed off. They're a little bit dusty, I think. That's a cute thing. And this is some sort of a, a military thing also, I'm guessing. This one might be, might be World War II. And this is a hat badge, or you could put it in a buttonhole or something, or your collar. Well, here's an old pin. That's a pretty item for sure. I always like looking at the mechanisms. Oh, I see, right, the C-clasp is broken. Oh, hmm, <laughs> bummer. This is weird. I wonder, this must be an advertising item, but I don't know, like why is the, why is the name of the place not here? I'm not sure what this is about. And then I think we have just some bits and pieces. Some, that was a little sewing machine. Oh, this is like that other one, it's a smaller version. And here, there are some old pins like this, but that one's dented. Some really little tiny lingerie pins or lace pins. That's a nice oldie, but, oh, this is interesting. This is a miniature mezuzah. Is that how you say it? It's not mezuzah, isn't it mezuzah? I know that because I have sold these before and there is a prayer thing in here. I don't really want to open it. It's a scroll. I'm afraid if I open it, I'm not gonna be able to get it closed again. I don't know why this is so small. I don't know if this is for a necklace or a dollhouse or something. I'm not sure. That's a cute little thing. That's in nice condition. Let me just see if there's anything else like worth picking up. Oh, these are sterling at least. That's good, but <laughs> they sure are little. There's like a, I don't know what that is. Oh, here's another one of these things. That's cute. The little crocheted or tatting thing. There's a stone I might be able to use in something. Oh, uh, here's an arrowhead. Oh, maybe that isn't, um, is that an arrowhead or a tooth? Now I, an arrowhead, I guess. Okay. Um, well, this is an old charm bracelet, but it's not in great condition. Like that, for example. Oh, that's right. This one isn't old. It's made to look old. I forgot about that. I did look this up before just to see who it was. Isn't this neat though? Except for the condition. Well, they definitely did a good job making it look old, that's for sure. <laughs> and a button. Yeah, too bad about that damage. That's kind of a cool bracelet. Anything else? Mm, not really. A little ring. A little piece of something. Here's a little wooden heart. That's pretty much it. Oh well. This is something from 1932. All right, well that's that. Let me see if I can open, open this barrel. So let's see if there's anything in here. I don't know. No. I wonder what its purpose is then. That's weird. I don't know what this is, I guess. Do you? I was curious. We'll just put it back together somewhat. Well, that's it for this time. Thank you so much, as always, for joining me. I appreciate you coming to my videos. I really, really do. Let me know what you think below, and I hope to see you soon, everybody, okay? Be well. Bye-bye.